Welcome back. This morning, the CDC says more than 166 million Americans have now received at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine. ABC's Faith Abube in Washington with a look at the impact nationwide. A Memorial Day like we haven't seen in over a year. Americans out and about, comfortable leaving their homes to pay tribute and reunite with family and friends. What bad weather? You're with family. There's instant sunshine to be with family for the first time in years. In the skies, a dramatic uptick in airline passengers. Since Thursday, the TSA screening more than 6 million at airports across the country. So I haven't been home in two years, so whatever I got to do to get home, I'm going to do to get home. On the ground, Dixon leads the Indy 500 drawing a pandemic record of 135,000 spectators. Thousands also gathering in Louisiana, watching this Memorial Day parade. I'm feeling free. <laughs> no mess. It's so good to be out and it's a beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> The fight against the pandemic showing signs of progress. New daily COVID cases in the U.S. down 70 percent in just the last six weeks. The real game changer has been the vaccine. But data shows fewer Americans are rolling up their sleeves for the vaccines. The daily vaccination rate now 60 percent lower than at its peak in April. Wednesday, President Biden is expected to deliver remarks on the country's vaccination program and the COVID response. But over the weekend... <laughs> It was all about remembering fallen service members ahead of Memorial Day. The president in Delaware Sunday. With those names that's on that wall and every other wall and tombstone in America of veterans is the reason why we're able to stand here. And later on today, the president and vice president will be in Arlington National Cemetery as part of a Memorial Day observance, including laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington.